Hello everyone and welcome to an impromptu episode of scripting. I was requested by some of the makers on the group wall to make a script or to show you how to make a script that limits weapons to certain classes. This assumes that you're using like a string value or something to see to hold the player's class like what we did in the engineering series. So based off of that, we're just going to take any old weapon and we are going to put in a script inside the weapon, call it restrict to class. And this is just Nab and Raj's, or one of Nab and Raj's or Kida 6660's weapons. They all generally look like this. You don't have to worry about it being any different. And in the script, we are going to add a string value. And this string value will hold what we want the uh, restricted what what class we want the weapon restricted to. So we're going to set this for knight for the sword. So we're going to need that value, so local class equals script dot class. We're referencing the script and then it's child class. We're going to want the tool itself, which is script dot parent. And we're going to need the player. And the player is two uh, parents above the uh, tool. This is because we're refer in tool we're referencing script.parent, which gives us this, and the tool is in a folder, which in the player object would be called backpack, and the backpack's parent is the player object itself. So that gives us the player. Next we'll need the player, the player's class, which would be player.class. And that gives us all the variables we need. Next we're gonna have to run a check, or rather run an event for whenever the player's class changes, that way the sword will update and work if the player's class changes to knight. And we're going to run a check if player class dot value, if the current player's class does not equal class dot value, what we set this restriction to, then we are going to disable the sword and the other two scripts in here. So tool dot enabled equals false because tools have a value, a property called enabled. And then we're going to have to also disable these two scripts. And scripts have a property called disabled, so we want to make that true. So tool.swordscript.disabled equals true. And tool find first child. And the only reason I'm doing find first child for local GUI is because there's a space in the middle name and you kind of have to adjust for that. I'm sure there's a better way, but I haven't found it yet. So find first child dot local uh, local GUI dot disabled equals true. Now if the player's class just changed to something that the weapon allows, what we can do is just copy and paste and reverse all this. That way if it does change tonight, then everything will operate just as we want it to. Alright, so we're gonna go to the test this. And you don't have to touch anything else, just this one script will manage the whole thing. Let's be a knight, and we expect it to work as a knight, so, okay, it's working. As you can see, we're going to go into player, class, change it to our other class as ranger, and as you can see, it does not work in the slightest. But if we change this back to knight, it starts working again. And there you have it. That is restricting weapons to classes, and this can be applied to any weapon. Really, all you have to do is just drop this in and disable whatever other scripts are in the sword. Alright, so that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and looking forward to continuing on.